All right, let's get into this. Top five animated movies that I've seen in 2023. If you see my worst list, you know exactly what's about to go on, okay? It, these are the movies that I've seen, okay? I haven't seen every single animated movie in 2023, okay? I've seen a lot of things in the past, ranging from the 2000s, 1990s. Five or whatever like that. Okay, maybe not that far, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I've seen a wide variety of animations, and honestly, I think I prefer this because it adds more variety, more texture, more, like, I don't know, content. It's more creative to see a list that has different things on it another thing i have to say is that i have my own opinion on things you have your own opinion on things oh my god it's like we're human it's like we can see things differently and don't have to like hatefully argue we can just constructively argue about what is our oh our own top five it's crazy i'm getting a little bit off topic but migration isn't on this list and i'm gonna make a video responding to all the migration hate that i'm getting i'm just saying anyway coming in at number five we have across the spider verse which is absolutely a masterpiece this movie is a great continuation of into the spider verse and i gotta say as a black person this movie just oozes black. <laughs> like, black characters and black culture and animation in general is almost non-existent. These people don't care about our culture, but Into the Spider-Verse and Across the Spider-Verse, it really showcases and it wears black culture on its sleeve. It's not scared to do that. It's extremely rare that black characters and or black culture in general gets a spotlight in the animation or in general, movies in general. So I gotta say, I, I love this movie absolutely the only gripes i really have about this movie is that gwen kind of got a highlight like it, majority of the intro section was like spent on gwen and i do think it's very risky it's very like it was a very good move but like in general majority of people are there for miles and his story not necessarily gwen i get what they were trying to do and they fleshed out gwen's reasoning for joining the multiverse or whatever the fuck it was but at the same time i feel like it could have been shorter i'm so sorry also the to be continued part doesn't really sit well with me into the spider verse set well on its own it was its own little movie it didn't even need a sequel but the sequel it needs the third act in order to feel complete and i just don't like that that's why i gave it the score i did like i said in the worst video if you want deeper context into my reviews and everything like that the reviews are on my channel i know you're smart enough to find it so that's just how it is coming in and number four the lion king one and a half <laughs> i know people are thinking i'm capping but like genuinely i think this movie is so good it's so fun the jokes land so hard and i gotta say like the animation the animation is super smooth super slick i know somebody's gonna be like oh why'd you put a uh, lion king one and a half uh above spider verse when it's really contextually very different okay i like fun movies as well which is why i rated migration fucking one but yeah i enjoy fun movies i enjoy like jokes in my movie very well written jokes i enjoy just a fun time and i gotta say lion king one and a half it's a fun time through and through coming in at number three we have puss in boots the last wish i don't think i've actually done a full review on this movie yet i was gonna wait a full year in order to soak in and just like really understand both how i wanted to structure my reviews and also how i wanted to like talk about this movie and i gotta say this movie is just absolutely amazing as a person who spent majority of their life fearing death this movie hit extremely hard and it pulled a lot of strings that i don't think any other movie can really hit at at the moment definitely deserving of this number three spot in my opinion another movie that definitely deserves this spot it's given is balto sitting at number two balto is a heartfelt story that is genuinely beautiful it kind of showcases two different sides or cultures of yourself that you should be gracious for and should be thankful and you should never push it away which i really do like it also takes itself for the most part extremely seriously which is something that a lot of movies animated movies i've seen a lot of them they don't really do that anymore a lot of animated movies are sort of like in this self-aware realm or like they just want to be super quirky they just want to be like they don't don't know how to make serious tones and or just like they mix too many tones to where it's just like 
puke. It's they're puking out all this emotion that like doesn't fit well in a movie. And I'm not just talking about newer movies. I've seen older movies that do the same shit. This has been a reoccurring problem as I've been watching animated movies. Like, I don't know why people think this is like some new issue that sort of popped up. No, it's been happening from time to time. It's just that we are realizing it now. And my number one best animated movie of 2023 that I've seen anyway, is gonna have to be Leafy, A Hen Into the Wild. If you haven't seen this movie, I definitely recommend you go watch it. It is the most beautiful movie ever made. Like, I am not even joking when I say this. I think this is contender for the top 10 animated movies ever, period. This movie is an emotional journey into motherhood and what it means to be a mother and to take care of your children at any and all costs. And as a person who has lost their mother, the person who is closest to them, I gotta say, this movie really nails in every single characteristic that my mother had. Like, this movie is just so powerful, and it will definitely make you cry if you have that connection with your mother. Anyway, that's gonna be my top five. If you disagree, argue with your dog. I don't know what to tell you. But if you're actually, like, smart and care about animation and care about, like, talking about, like, how you feel about things, definitely leave your thoughts in the comments below i'm not the person to say you know always comment or anything like that but like i feel like i need to say that like we can disagree we can disagree on things it's human it's okay that's all i have to say anyway how's it going pups it's a canine and i'm out